Hi guys, today's video is gonna be a decorating video. We're gonna be focusing on my entryway. I wanna take you guys through my thought process and how I transition decor from one season to the next. And I wanna share with you guys how to do this also on a budget and just kind of getting the most out of your decor while also not having to switch out so much for each single season. Um, also, I'm gonna be doing two different styles of summer decor as well, and you guys will get to vote just in the comments. Let me know which style that you ended up loving the most. I'm also gonna put this vote over on my Instagram account as well. So if you don't follow me, I'll just throw up my Instagram right here for you guys. It will be posted on my stories by the time that this video goes live. So anyways, right now we've got spring decor going on and I'm gonna walk you guys through all of that and again, how to uh, decorate by the seasons again on a budget. So let's go ahead and get started. So stepping back so that you guys can see this spring decor, um, obviously I went with a carrot theme. So we've got this banner going on, we've got a carrot patch sign, and then we've got some orange flowers in my wreath. So this is my tray on how I transition into different seasons um, and just kind of keeping the cost down. And the way that I do it is you have to start with good basic pieces that will be complementary to your style and also your decor taste for each season and whatever that is, you know, whether you do a nautical theme or you have more of a modern approach. So in this instance, um, just taking a look at this, uh, if you've never watched any of my previous decor before or any of my decorating videos, then what's part of spring for me in this scenario that you're looking at is going to be the orange little flowers that I tucked into the wreath, this sign, and this banner. And that's it. So, and all of these three pieces I got from Hobby Lobby while they were on like a 50% off sale. So the cost probably if I had to just kind of guess at the top of my head to do spring alone was probably $20, maybe give or take $5. Um, I'm not entirely sure what, like, what the prices ended up being, but that's a pretty good price range. It will just go really well with any of my seasons with the exception actually of Christmas and the only reason why is because the green pieces aren't like my greens that I use for Christmas time but otherwise they work well for spring, summer, and fall. Um, in this instance I did do a banner but for summer I'm not going to do a banner um, but I've got this gorgeous farmhouse style table. It's very much me so I did want to invest in a very good entryway table. I also don't bounce back and forth between different styles if you will. I feel like farmhouse French country is something that I think I will love for a very long time. I'm more traditional than I am modern, I suppose. So I know that the money that I spent on this one good piece was money well spent. And I even think that this table wasn't that expensive either. I might have gotten this from Nebraska Furniture Mart or Ashley Furniture, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then, you know, we've got these mirrors, which I think I picked up at like TJ or Tuesday morning. So really great price. And then this was a combination that I made a long time ago where I added this wreath to this scroll. Also very inexpensive pieces. The wreath, the boxwood wreath is from Hobby Lobby. I just simply attached it to this metal piece with zip ties, which I think that this metal piece, I'm not sure where this came from. It could have been Ross or something like that, but also very inexpensive. And then um, I spent, you know, I'm not sure actually how much my lamps were, but I think they were pretty decently priced as well compared to other, I guess, expensive lamps. These pieces are just going to look really well every time I transition from season to season. And then the boxwood wreath, again, just, you guys have seen me decorate this for Valentine's Day. I put hearts. I put stars when it comes to 4th of July. So I'm really getting my money's worth for this wreath, which I think I ended up paying 
$10 at Hobby Lobby when it was on sale. My tip is have a good blank canvas um, so that when you go to add little pieces, you really don't have to add much to emphasize the season. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the orange items and I will store all of this together so that the next time spring comes along, I already have all of my decor. So now when we step back, this is what I'm left with. And this is what I mean when it's good to get this area decorated in a way with items that are going to give you a blank canvas, but also give you a really beautiful look. And how I like to do that is I like to mix wood colors, metals, and green. And a little bit of like a beige touch just to kind of give it a more farmhouse look. And again, I do have like a French country mix as well. So that's why you see like the Florida de Lee. And yeah, so here's my blank canvas. And now I'm just gonna add the few little pieces. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the items and then I'm gonna throw up the price of what I spent to do the sunflower theme. So the first thing that I did was I went and got sunflowers. Again, Hobby Lobby is one of my favorite stores because they run their amazing deals. So definitely wait for floral to be 50% off. So I picked up some larger sunflowers and then I also picked up these like baby ones. They were $7.99, but 50% off of both of them made them $4 each. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be picking them off of the stem and then decorating the wreath just like you saw with spring, like I've done with all of my seasons and holidays. That's why I love the boxwood wreath. And also because it has a lot of like, I don't know what you would call it, but it, it holds flowers very well without you having to permanently like hot glue into this. And that way you can switch them in and out and like you saw, I picked off the orange flowers very easily. Then I also have a garland of sunflowers. Now, I already actually had this on hand because I decorated with sunflowers on my kitchen pie safe. So this one I didn't spend any money on, but this garland, I don't remember what the price of this was, but I think this probably ended up being about um, five, between five to eight dollars. Not very expensive at all and incredibly beautiful. So we're probably going to add it to this area as well. Now I like to definitely follow the, the style of, again, this blank canvas. So I like utilizing the boxwood wreath and I like utilizing this picture frame where I do put up some type of sign. Normally I have a sign that says, hey y'all, you'll see that in the next theme, but I have this one, which again is from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember what I paid for it because the price isn't on here, but this was also part of my pie safe and I wanted to pull it for this, but you can see that we've got the sunflowers and this probably ended up being around $8 as well. So this will end up looking really cute in the center like this. So when I was thinking of doing two different styles to show you guys two different options and let you vote on like which one you thought was the best one, I thought I need to do something else with this sunflower theme and I thought what perfect to add than cute little metal bumblebees. So this also from Hobby Lobby, they were $6.99 but the spring shop is 40% off of that price. So again, I'm now gonna include the total of what the sunflower theme cost.
is the sunflower and bee theme. I think it turned out so cute. You can see how adding just the simplicity of sunflowers and bumblebees to my already existing decor. It just really pops, it complements everything in my opinion, looks really great. So I think that the bumblebees are also very cute. I added one to the top of this wreath. Again, didn't have to hot glue anything into this. That way when it's time to transition into fall, all I have to do is pluck those off and I have my my core pieces again, my blank canvas, ready to go for the next holiday. I removed all of the sunflowers, so we are back to the basics again, and let's go ahead and add our lemon decor. All right, here's the haul and breakdown of the price for what it cost me to do the switch from spring to summer when it comes to lemon decor. So I went again to Hobby Lobby, and this is not sponsored, although I wish. Um, I got two different bags of lemon. These are amazing prices for them, in my opinion. Uh, they This bag of the larger lemons was $9.99, but 50% off of that. So we'll just say $5, but like $4.99, right? And then the smaller bag was $6.99, so $3.50 for these. And I think I might have lemons left over as well so that I can use them in different areas of the house because I'm gonna be doing uh, lemons like in my butler's pantry, which that video is coming as well. And of course, when I was shopping for this, I was thinking of how I do decorate, you know, utilizing again the wreath and then the tabletop and then the sign. I did actually look for like a lemon decor sign from Hobby Lobby. I did not find at all what I wanted. Um, and I just decided in the end that I was gonna repurpose a sign I already had, which is this Hey Y'all sign. It's actually the sign that if I did not decorate for the seasons, this would be what would be here you know, all throughout the year. I think it's a great sign for an entryway as well. Another thing that I decided to actually do a little bit differently was add this pretty large like lemon tree plant. I've actually had this for a while as well. And when I first moved into this house, I actually use this plant in my kitchen. Hobby Lobby does have a lemon tree plant. It's actually a pretty good size as well. Um, not, not as big as this, but I think that the other one that I saw at Hobby Lobby is a nice size for an entryway. Um, but because I already have this, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I think I did take a picture of the lemon tree from Hobby Lobby, so I'll, I'll throw it up so you guys can see it and wait for it to be on sale for 50% off. And then I think it'll end up being like $15. And I picked up this like wicker basket or I don't know what you would actually call this. This was part of their spring shop. So it was 40% off. So I'll include this also in the price. It was $50, but 40% off of that. It is pretty large, um, but I actually really love this look. I love the browns of it. It's gonna break up the green and the yellow in the lemon tree. So, and that's it. Those are the pieces. So really I spent money on this basket and the lemons because I already had these other features. But if you were to add, you know, a type of, of summery decor sign or a tree, um, I'll include like the original prices as best as I can because I don't, Oh, this was $19.99, but I know I paid 50% off. So this ended up being $10. And then I'm just gonna guesstimate on this tree. Or actually, I'm gonna price it off of the lemon tree that I saw at Hobby Lobby for you guys in case like you wanna do that.
And here is the lemon theme. So the addition is that we added the plant, which I think actually looks really lovely. I don't think that it takes away, in my opinion, from the decor that I have. It goes really well with my theme. The basket is beautiful. I love how full the, the plant looks. And then this is, I think, a little bit more simple than the sunflowers, but very fresh, very light. Um, definitely summery for me. You can see that I tucked in the little lemon fruits into the wreath, didn't have to hot glue them. So again, it'll just be easy to pluck them off and they stay really well. I think because the boxwood wreath is just one of those really great universal wreaths for me. You could also add ribbon to this if you wanted to, if you're into like the lemons and buffalo check or uh, the black and white gingham, that would be cute. You could just add, you know, a ribbon to the center of your wreath and that would be really pretty. Um, but this is definitely my style. And yeah, so you guys vote, tell me what you think. Are you liking the lemons? Are you liking the sunflowers and the bumblebees? But this is how I do it. I hope that this video helped you guys in any way, shape or fashion to get to a point that if you do want to decorate for seasons and holidays but also do it on a budget so that you're also not um, maybe you don't want to accumulate too many decor pieces and things like that and you're having to like literally start from scratch um, this is the best way to do it and that's to get these pieces that are going to be here all year round and then all you do is add little touches Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. And I hope, again, that this helped you in any way. And I'll see you guys next time.